Uh, spirometry helps us make a definition, uh, a diagnosis. It helps us to define the severity, but alone it, it can't. We don't treat a graph. We treat a patient right. who has the problem. And so what we want people to do is to use this spirometry and put it together with some of these other symptoms to decide what the best care might be. So that comes down to symptoms. And symptoms, the presence of regular symptoms clearly has therapeutic and limit, uh, implications. Most of what we do in COPD is symptom driven. And the symptoms, the most important symptoms, as we know, is, is shortness of breath and, and cough. Uh, and we suggest that people monitor these symptoms, uh, uh, either with the uh, COPD assessment test, the CAT score, or the uh, MMRC breathing scale. Uh, and the CAT, as you know, is a, an intriguing sort of simple uh, uh, questionnaire. Uh, eight questions, it's got your typical shortness of breath and cough questions, but it also, Tom, has some other questions. It, it asks about your sleep. It asks about fatigue. Important questions for the patient. Again, trying to move to more patient-centered care, if you will. And, and this is simple to do. It's been, uh, it's been validated in numerous languages. It's easy. It's on our app. It's on our card. You can download it from the CAT website. Um, at, but uh, what we have found is that a change in the CAT scores might have significance. So, you know, if there's a change or a, a worsening of the CAT score, something is going on. Maybe it's an exacerbation, maybe it's poor medical adherence, maybe you're not using your inhalers correctly, maybe it's progression of the disease, but something's not right and it might lead to a change in your therapy. So as a clinician, this is very useful for you before you see the patient that they have this filled out and you're ready to review. I often them. will have my patients fill it out before they even come into the room. 